Is it true? Is what true? That Lucrezia... That Dr. Crescent is to take part in this project? It's true. Why are you so surprised? But using your own child... for an experiment? Ha! I don't know what you're implying, but both of us are scientists. We know what we are doing. You are the last person to have any word in this. Now, leave us at once, boy. But... But what? <sighs> if you have something to say, say it. Are you... Are you sure this is what you really want? Am I sure? Am I sure? If this only concerns me, then yes, I am sure. Oh... I... I just... All I did was watch. I didn't even try to stop her. And then... That was my sin. And this... This... is my punishment. Yuffie. 
been a while. How's your head? You... Could you at least pretend to be sympathetic? <laughs> uh, hey! Take it easy! That was a big hole you had in your chest. A hole in my chest? Hmm. I seriously thought you were a goner, but then the wound healed itself right up. You were always different, but... I guess that's why you're still breathing. Yuffie, what are you doing here? Me? I'm just helping out Reeve and his gang. I was poking around Nibelheim, and I found you looking all corpse-like in Shinra Manor. And so I saved you. Imagine that. Me saving the great Vincent Valentine. Do I get any thanks? <laughs> Thanks, Yuffie. No, no, whoa! I didn't mean for you to take me so seriously. Uh, anyway, Reeve wanted us to contact him as soon as you woke up. Vincent has come too? Excellent. I have some good news. Using you know who. I was able to infiltrate Midgar. However, what I saw wasn't the prettiest of pictures. Omega. I should have known. We cannot let them sacrifice the lives of any more people. Once we've gathered our forces, we'll launch a full offensive. Of course, we'll require the help of you two as well. Please hurry back to headquarters. Oh, I'm analyzing the data files we sent earlier. I should have results soon. Questi out. There you have it. I don't know what's going down, but it sounds big. I've been waiting a long time to get my hands on those deep ground punks. They've had their way long enough. Now it's time to give them a taste of pain a la Yuffie. Just give me three minutes with those guys. No, make it two. Well, maybe three. Or four. Well, it really depends on how many there are, but I think if there was five, I could probably take them in two, or two and five, or three and four. Where am I? Joke. How are you feeling? <sighs> you were a fool to let your enemy live. Now I'm going to kill you and return to deep ground. I don't think so. I have to admit, I wasn't myself back there. Seeing you for the first time in ten years left me in a spin. But I've had time to recover. And I'm not letting you get away. Not this time. There's no way I'm going to let you kill me. And there's no way I'm going to let you go back to deep ground. 
I don't recall needing your permission to do anything. And I don't remember you ever being able to win any of our fights. Do you? How about it? You want to try your luck? Azul? Emergency. All this death was merely station. a prologue to the All true others. terror.
Chalua! Required. No longer. You're no different from the others. Your weak body is nothing without Mako. Your only skill is collecting data from inside a virtual reality. It makes me sick to even think of you as a member of the Sviets. Vice has ordered your termination. Vice? Your mission was to identify and locate the keeper of the protomateria. That is why we uploaded the doctor's data into your neural network. But now we no longer need it. And we cannot let it fall into the hands of the WRO. <laughs> Your fate has been decided, Shell. It is time for you to return to the planet. to catch up on. I'm not going to let this end here. <gasps> Shalua! <sighs> Why are you doing this? You could still get through. Huh? Go on! <sighs> Shell. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't a better sister. I'm sorry I let you suffer. So long. Vincent. Take care of her, will you? Wait. Shulk. I'm glad I was able to find you. And remember, I'll always.
I'm so ashamed. I am supposed to be a hero of the Genova War. But look at me. Don't take all the blame. Reeve. Huh? You're not thinking of giving up, are you? I used to be nothing but a stone in the river of time. But three years ago, it was you and the others who taught me I had to move ahead. Vincent. They say she won't wake up. She suffered too much trauma to her head. Unless there's some kind of a miracle, she's... She's not... <sighs> Vincent! You were there! Why couldn't you save her? I'm sorry. No. I, I didn't mean to... <sighs> she was a fool. <sighs> you have no right to call her that! You don't know! You don't know what... Why? Why would she do something so... <laughs> Before, when I asked Shalua what she was searching for, she answered her reason to live. It was you, Shulk. You were her reason to live. So? I don't understand how someone could give her own life for that of another. Do you understand, Vincent Valentine? Mm. I can't answer for your sister. But... But? When a person has someone they care about that much, giving their life is sometimes the least they can do. And maybe that's what makes us human. Someone they care about. Although, it seems like there are a lot of people around me who don't need a reason to risk their lives for that of another. And are you... Vincent. Vincent. Fall asleep here, and you might catch a cold. <sighs> Why are you so surprised? Is my face that hideous? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. 
And how are you supposed to be my bodyguard if you're up here sleeping? Uh, the warm breeze. I was only going to rest my eyes for a minute. Hmm. Well, I have to admit, the breeze is quite comfortable. However, I think you're in my seat. Huh? <laughs> Care to join me? I'm sorry. Why are her data fragments... responding? Vincent. I agree with you. This is not the time for us to give up. But I need to know something. Those data files you recovered from Shinra Manor... Are you sure there were not any more? I'm sure. I see. What's wrong? Well... The Omega Report. The file was incomplete. To make any sense out of it, we are going to require the other half. If possible, I wanted to know more about our foe before we launched the attack on Midgar. Are you speaking of Dr. Lucrezia Crescent's findings? <laughs> yes, but how did you... A large quantity of her mnemonic data fragments has been uploaded into my neural network. It was my prime directive to use this data to locate and retrieve the proto-materia. However, not only was the data incomplete, but part of her consciousness began interfering with my own thought processes. It was believed that the missing fragments may have been the reason for this. I can attempt to upload the WRO's files on the Omega Report. By combining it with the data I possess, you may obtain a clearer picture of what you will be up against. And perhaps, I can regain control of my mind. Communication channels radar clear. functioning normal. Network terminals online. Wide area scan shows no gamma links operational. Adjusting settings 6281. Begin line test in sectors 2 and 6. 128%. We need oil on the L3 G9 friction levels up to 0.024. Operating the lower valve. Main propeller at 80%. Propeller speed up to 0.3%. Monitoring signal AJ109. All blocks clear. 
Main engine output normal. Now switching over Secondary to auto engine sensors. Secondary functionality check. Green. Hey, Vincent! Long time! Captain! Oh, sorry about that. As much as I'd like to sit down and reminisce about old times, you'll have to take a rain check. Why don't you have a look around my bird until the meeting? After Shulk's half of the data, I've been able to make more sense of the report. But I still require more time to piece together the fragments. I will give you all a detailed briefing at the meeting. After the assault begins, the Headquarters facilities will no longer be available. And to think, just a few days ago, I was the one who was in there. No, forget I said anything. What are you working on? I'm in the process of modifying this equipment so I can perform an SND, a synaptic net dive. Synaptic net dive? My specialty within the Sviets. While retaining consciousness, I project an image of myself into a virtual reality called a network. I can also use this ability to negotiate with data on the subconscious planes of sentient life forms. However, this often involves a great risk to my own sanity. For Shinra, the success of the SND project was crucial for their next step in... I'm sorry, I seem to have gotten off track. Simply put, I'm creating a personal network terminal within the airship's main control console. <laughs> what? Nothing. 
You just remind me of your sister. If you don't mind, I need to complete these modifications before the meeting. Squads will leave the ground assault. Well, we launch our attack from the air. Right. So, Reed, you ready? Yes. All right. Take it away, Shelk. Very well. Data fragment link. Successful. Commencing synaptic net dive in three, two, one. Just as we return to the planet when our life light is faded. The planet returns to the cosmos when her time has come. Anything that has definite shape will one day cease to exist. The same is true for this world. Before she takes her final breath, the pure life streams that flow freely beneath her crust will be brought together into one. By Omega, the ultimate life form. His purpose? To gather all life, sentient and non, and lead it into the sea of stars, where it will embark on a fabulous journey along a road untraveled. However, when Omega has lifted the life from this planet, all that will remain what? will be an empty shell destined to die silently in the limitless void of space.
Omega is. The same type of life form as the weapons we encountered three years ago. The planet gave birth to these creatures to protect itself. Just as the planet will ultimately give birth to the final weapon, Omega, when the end of the world is imminent. In essence, Omega is an elaborate safety mechanism designed solely to maintain and protect the flow of life. Normally, Omega poses no threat to us. It only manifests when the planet has detected something that may cause her danger. However, Deep Ground is attempting to awaken the beast early. Thus, the kidnapping. By slaughtering thousands of innocent souls, they are creating a pure life stream in order to trick the planet into thinking the end is near. Yeah! Why, are those conniving? I don't know what this vice character is trying, but he's crazy if he thinks we're gonna let him get away with it! Right. Omega is being revived deep beneath Midgard in Mako Reactor Zero. To increase the output of Reactor Zero, all the other reactors have been tied into its mainframe. Our objective is to destroy 1 through 8 and slow the reanimation process. Mission details for each squad will be relayed separately. Alright, we've still got some time before the big show. You got anything needs tending to do it? Mr. Valentine, it's me. Don't you remember? I was one of the Highwind crew. That bird was a beauty, but this ship's just as sweet. And you won't believe this, but she runs on some mysterious ancient power. But you don't have to worry. You'll be safe in my hands. Wait a minute. Where did this button come from? Oh, no, you didn't hear anything. <clears throat> Approaching destination! Vince, don't worry about the reactors. We'll take care of them. You work on those four wacko. I don't like letting you have all the fun, but... You know, I can't leave my baby here alone. Cloud and the others will be shutting down the power. And there's no way we're letting Yuffie go down there by herself. Sorry, buddy. Looks like from here on out, it's Vince versus the Sphiots. We're counting on you, old pal. One last look. Did you hear? They attacked. 
liked Wu Tai as well. Thanks to my dad and the Wu Sheng, things didn't turn out as bad as they could have, but... But I'm worried about my old man. He's not as young as he used to be. He's gonna have a heart attack one of these days, if not give me one. When I was still a kid, I wanted to be in Soldier. But those men and women in Deep Ground, they're nothing like the guys in the poster I had on my bedroom wall. But you know, I wonder if they wanted to be in Soldier, just like me. Hey, I'm not going soft or anything. I'm ready for action. soldiers. They were all once just like us. They all had families, friends, even feelings. So, why did it ever have to come to this? What compelled Shinra to commit such hideous deeds? Now, these once normal people continue to kill because it is all they know. Are they solely to blame for their actions? No, I'm not condoning what they do. I will never forgive them for the terror they have instilled in the hearts of my brothers. They're our sworn enemy, and that will never, ever change. But I'm not fighting simply to end their lives. I'm doing it to end the chaos that they started. much longer until the Midgar Offensive begins. The last time I saw action was back during the liberation of Edge, where my entire squad was wiped out by that bloodthirsty crimson soldier. The only reason I survived was because I fled from the area when I saw my companions fall, but not this time. I finally realized that there are some things in this world that are worth dying for. Mr. Valentine! Our troops are conducting their final preparations for the assault. I I've been ordered to not let anyone pass, sir! Petting her the wrong way. While this airship is named after Sid's wife, construction of the vessel wasn't performed by the captain at all. Our team of loyal scientists here at the World Regenesis Organization, or those criminals at Shinra, weren't involved either. To tell you the truth, the ship is not even from this era. It is a relic from a lost civilization. Most of the machinery in the engine room is boxed up in black casing, so we don't even know what half of it does. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no need to worry. Even though we cannot reproduce the technology, we can still put it to good use. I can almost guarantee there will be no problems. Almost.
So, no costume today. <laughs> Headquarters was pretty much destroyed by the Deep Brown forces. But I was able to salvage a few things. Number six, ready for action! Tell me, Ray. Huh? Who's backing your operation? Oh, what? <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure. I've only met with a representative. However, the WRO is crucial for this planet's survival. I'm not concerned with the reasons this person has for helping us. As long as he continues writing checks. Though, I have a feeling it is probably someone who believes he is in debt to the planet. Vincent Valentine. What? This feeling. Is this what you meant? By doing something for someone you care about? <laughs> it seems so. Dr. Crescent's data has begun defragmenting within my mind. I can see many different images. Images she experienced with you. Interference, recovery. So, so tired. farm in the grasslands, haven't you? They've got the biggest stables around. I keep my new river chocobo there. He was born just a few weeks ago. Boko, a noble name for a noble steed. I can't wait until this battle's over and I can go ride him off into the sunset. Midgar. After Meteor Fall, the once bustling metropolis was reduced to rubble. There have been attempts to rebuild, but deadly Mako radiation leaking from the damaged reactors still contaminates most of the area. Now it's just a home for vagrants, and the soldiers have forgotten there after the calamity. Most of us turned our eyes away from the problem, but someday we'll be forced to face it. Deep Brown Soldiers, a ruthless band of killing machines determined to revive Omega and bring this world to her end. And at the top stand the Sviets, 
A small group of elite warriors more powerful than the rest combined. Rosa the Crimson. Azul the Cerulean. Nero the Sable. And the mysterious and enigmatic leader. Vice the Immaculate. It is believed that confrontations with these four will be unavoidable. But their defeat is necessary for our mission success. However, I'm not worried. I know that you and the others will not let us or the planet down. Yeah, but just look at Kate. I mean, Reed. When the hell did he become so important? All this you see around you, everything here, he put up the gill for it. Of course, that's on the condition that I help him save the world. <laughs> what I want to know is where he got that kind of cash. A simultaneous attack from land and air. Hmm. I think they may be serious this time. They had better be. I've been so bored lately. His awakening is near. Let tonight be the final chapter. Any more of you are killed by those punks out there? 
and Valentine. What's this? Your phone. I retrieved it in Calm. I've modified it slightly. Just dial pound V-I-N to contact my personal terminal directly. From this workstation, I can perform a synaptic net dive into almost any network system in Midgar. I may also be able to help guide you into deep ground. It's not what you think. By monitoring your movement, Dr. Crescent's data fragments are restored within me. I'm simply providing this service for my own benefit. I didn't say anything. I, uh, anyway... My resources here are limited. Do not expect too much. Mm. I'm counting on you, Shulk. Uh, uh... I... It's just... I've never actually been... Counted on by anyone before. Uh, uh, never mind. Well then, can I count on you to keep an eye on the airship while we're away as well? Huh? I have already witnessed your strength and skill once. This is war, and we have to be ready for anything. Your assistance would be of great help. My assistance? Exactly. Commissioner! Ah, excuse me. Vincent, I will see you again before deployment. And Shulk, remember, I'm counting on you. Oh. Fighting for... Away. Secondary squad, prepare for drop. Transmission. 
mission with Bay 9 lost. Damage to the Shara minimal. Damn! They're gonna pay for that! What do you think you're doing? You have landed several clicks off your target destination. However, considering the location of the enemy, this could work to your advantage. Head for the central complex and locate a means of reaching the top level. You will only be able to enter deep ground from the upper platform. I'll contact you again. Shelk out. <laughs>